I went to the farmer's market yesterday and got 50 pounds of carrots for $7. <gasps> I'm fermenting them. Why so many carrots? Because I love carrots. Look me square in the eyes and tell me you love me. Yeah, I like carrots. That's how warm it is inside my home. Yow! I just made these yesterday. Cool. So I thought I would see where these are after a day in this kind of heat. Still crunchy. You can tell they're not as crunchy as when they were first chopped yesterday. There's a slight softening to them. <laughs> and you can see all the bubbles. They're definitely beginning to ferment. If temperatures stay like this in my home for the next three days, I would have to transfer these to the fridge because they would ferment far too quickly for my liking. I'm gonna check in on the cauliflower. Oh yeah, that sounds good. Wow, this is the cauliflower after one day of fermentation. Surprise! So now we'll see where these are at. Honestly, there's no difference in texture compared to when I freshly chopped that just yesterday. Whereas the carrots have slightly softened. Today's temperatures are just slightly cooler than yesterday's. We're going to sample our carrots and our cauliflower again to see how much difference there is. Still crunchy, but definitely softer. And now we'll sample the cauliflower. Still crunchy, but it's getting soft. It's much cooler in here now. It's much cooler outside too. So let's try the carrots first. Okay. Not much change from day two to day three. So clearly the fact that it's cooler hasn't made an impact on the fermentation by way of speeding it up. It's kind of like it's been sitting in a fridge for the last day. So no change in the carrots. Wow, that's a lot of bubbles. <gasps> Cauliflower is already starting to fall apart. Mm. Definitely softer, very soft. These are ready to go in the fridge. Even the color has changed. They've gone from a white to almost a pale yellow. Surprise! They're perfect. Now that this cauliflower has fermented and it's softer, I can put it into a smaller jar because I can press it down now. Oh yeah, that sounds good. And it should all fit. It should. This is a whole head, about a medium to large size cauliflower. If this was hard, I wouldn't be able to do this. But now that it's softer, I can. This is the brine that I had this fermenting in. I'm going to pour it back in and make sure that it's covered. Now I'm gonna put a lid on this and put it in my fridge. I have some kraut juice from red and green cabbage, carrots, and caraway seeds that I made. And what I'm going to do is the rest of this cauliflower brine. I'm now going to add some of this to the brine. I'm going to sample it and see if I like it. Wow, that tastes like a very salty V8. I like it. And that's exactly what I do. I just use it as a kind of like a V8, a vegetable tonic throughout the day. It is quite salty, so if you're on a low sodium diet, you might want to dilute it. But for me, this is how I help to keep my electrolytes in check. So instead of having to salt my food all the time, I have a little sip of this throughout the day, and it's good. Please remember, it's full of vitamins and minerals, as well as probiotics. Which brings me to a subject that someone had asked me, I don't know, last year or the year before. What supplements do I take? I don't take any, I don't even take iron supplements anymore. Everything that my body needs, it gets from whole food and whole food byproducts such as fermented vegetable brine. Awesome. So if you're trying to save money and if you're also trying to be optimally healthy, I cannot recommend fermented foods enough. Amen. This has pretty much been the consistent temperature in my home for about the last week and a half. That in mind, I thought I would sample the carrots one more time to see where they're at. Still lots of bubbles. They're getting softer. So at cooler temperatures as it has been this past week, it could take three or four months for these carrots to fully soften. Conversely, in very hot temperatures of 30 degrees Celsius or more, these would soften in less than a month. So temperature really does have a huge impact on how quickly or how slowly your food ferments. Knowing that I have five gallons on the counter and a gallon here, I'm really happy the temperatures are a little bit cooler. Otherwise, I'd have to eat these carrots really fast and my skin just might turn orange. I'd look like a pumpkin. Ah!